Hello stationers and welcome back to another micro minute. Today we are going to be working on, as request, just basic atmosphere airlock or a bit atmosphere control. Uh, this one is actually really easy. A lot of people don't realize it. It's just one air control board. This will control the pressure inside your base. If it gets too much pressure, it'll take it out too or not enough, it'll put it in. So we're just gonna do that really basic here. Toss up your console. Throw your air control board in, cover it up with glass. Make sure you have a data disk on you for programming. Now I have a vent here named room atmosphere vent. It's going to be, it's attached to an oxygen vent outside. Normally I would have this room vacuum down to zero k kPa just to show you all, but it would take a while for it to pressurize. So we're just going to do this so it takes no time. Still not going to change the results. So we're going to go in, device lock enabled. It's going to lock it. Pressure. You're going to want it on the pressure mode because it's going to adjust the pressure of your room. Now, I have named my vent already. And one more thing that we're going to need, as you can see, is a sensor. So we're going to pop over here, grab a gas sensor, flip it down, and then just wire it in. So, take our gas sensor, mark it down, come down here, choose our room atmosphere vent. There. So, I don't know why it's healing up here now. So, so, take your vent, set them. So, now what it's doing is it's going to manage your pressure. Currently, you can see our external pressure is going up and it's going to stop at 100 kPa or 101, the safe limit. Now, if you need to, you can panic depressurize. It's just going to suck everything in. Panic pressurize, again, it's just going to push everything in. It's because it locks the device, those are your controls. So once it's going to get up to the threshold, 101 will be what's set to. Once it gets up near the maximum, the vents definitely slow way down and it shuts off. Now, if I were to increase the t pressure in here, this should start melting. They're going to turn on and take the excess pressure right out. Yes, that is how the board works. And I'll just jump right into the next segment because kind of control to this for the atmospherics is we're going to be doing a quick logic temperature control. So while that's doing that, we're just going to get everything set up. So in order to control the temperature in your room, you're going to need your gas sensor. The same one can be used for multiple circuits. It's just reading data, so it's no big deal. I'm going to remove the floorboards here. I might need a bit more room, so I'm just going to... Alright, so as you can see, it's still managing it, so I'm just going to actually take my helmet off. Should I turn off my air, AC, and filter? So... Now what we're going to do is we're going to set it up so that this wall here, I want it to turn on if it is less than 5 degrees Celsius. Um, it will turn off automatically once it hits that threshold, but we'll start it up for now. So what you're going to need, two logic IOs. So you're going to want your reader, your writer. You're either going to want a logic writer or a batch writer, depending on how many vents you have. If you have more than one wall heater, use a batch writer. But you know what, we might as well just use the batch writer. It's not like it's going to make any difference. So, batch writer, pop it down. Okay, now you're going to need a logic memory. I will teach you, I will show you which numbers you're going to need to input into that. And then you're going to need a processor because you're going to need the logic compare unit. Pass that in. So those are the four logic that you are going to need. So I'm just going to quickly wire them in. We will 
we got going here. not to have any closed circuits when you're doing your logic because you want everything to be able to read each other. If you end up by closing a circuit, it won't be able to read the devices outside of that circuit. So those are all wired in and we are going to go through set them all. So, logic reader. First thing that we're going to be reading in is you're going to be reading the temperature from the gas sensor. So come over here, gas sensor, variable, is the temperature. So you're going to come over to your, before we do the compare actually, your memory. So in station years, as you can see, temperature is measured in kelvins. So in order to get the Kelvin formula, Calvin is always going to be Celsius plus 273.15. So 273.15 is zero on the Calvin, so essentially. So what we're going to want to do is we want this heater to turn on at five degrees. So we're going to go 278.15, so that's going to be five degrees. So I'm going to come down here, set it to 278.15, so that's Calvin plus Celsius. So 273 plus the five degrees you want. Now, come over to your compare. You want your logic reader. And if it is less than the five degrees, then it will output. Oh, sorry, if it's less than five degrees with the memory. There it is. So if the logic reader is less than the logic memory, over here, logic compare. You're going to put it out to your wall heater variable. Come on. Turn it on. No flashing errors. No flashing errors. Bam. And it's as simple as that. So this is showing here. The state of the memory is 278.15. The compare, it's on because, well, it's currently less than the 5 degrees. And it's showing here that our room temperature is currently 275 and it is going up. So once this temperature here reaches your 278.15, then your wall heater will automatically turn off. You can do the exact same thing with your wall coolers as well. Just set your memory to your heightened temperature. So if you wanted it to turn off at, two, at uh, say 10 degrees, you would set it to 283.15. And then in your compare unit, you would have your logic reader is greater than your memory because if it's if your current temperature would be hotter than the 10 degrees you would want your coolers to turn on and yeah just like that so as long as you have your pressure console on your wall heater and your wall coolers you should be able to automate the atmosphere in any room whether it be greenhouse or a basic room I hope that's helped you guys and have a good night. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them on the video and I hope you pop a like.